Hello lovelies and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's very special midweek wrap up. Um, I'm really excited about today's video because today is all about looking back over the last year since I launched my YouTube channel. Um, so previous to that I did have a few looks up on Facebook with wrapping and things like that but nothing was as big of a leap um, as starting the YouTube channel. So on the 19th of February the 1st really really poor quality video <laughs> went up. It's been a very long journey and there's been a lot of changes and a lot of learning um, in between and just an amazing journey, an amazing journey. Um, and those of you who were there from the beginning, thank you so much for being along with me on this wonderful, wonderful trip. Um, and I hope to go on for many years to come if, if that is the plan. So today I'm going to bring you a little bit of a reminiscent uh, kind of view on Tickle's past. I'm going to really focus on my Inspirational Women series because that's probably the thing that really got me started is really looking at women who I really do look to for inspiration <laughs> and for guidance and for different things for different reasons um, you know, whether they're celebrities or not um, but that's what really got me started so my videos were about celebrity looks but it's all about celebrating women and how we can lift each other up so let's dive in I very quickly moved on from the laptop computer camera because <laughs> clearly it wasn't working and I just found it within myself to just get the courage to talk into a camera it was so weird to start with to have a conversation with myself until I realized that I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to all of you guys. Um, and it did really take a big leap of faith to really kind of embrace that. So my next few Alicia Keys inspired looks came across very differently to the first video. So I'm going to use um, a very pretty scarf. I just love this scarf. It's very thin, so it's a little bit warm today. So I just thought I'll go for a bit of a thin one. And I create the shape. So let's fix this little as I go along. So you end up with this little situation, which is fine. You can fix it as you go. Okay. So just snag it tight to so get this cross so at the front. We've got two bits of fabric. One's a little bit shorter, one's a little bit longer because of the twisting that we did just before. I'm going to keep the longer one out for um, the sort of designy bit of this. So I might just hold it there. And I'm going to use this one which is actually the one that's coming out from underneath. I'm going to fan it out. Okay, fanning it out and bringing it over to the front. And just tucking that all away. And in fact, I could probably just do a little knot here, just to put into place. If I, if I had longer um, tails, you could easily tuck them into the pocket that you created when you twisted here yeah? but I don't think it's going to be long enough so I just tied it off. It won't matter because this one um, is a better cover. So I'm pulling it this way rather than going this way because of the way it's twisted. So I'm going against the knot but I like a bit of a twist. Oops. Don't let go in the middle of tying it. <laughs> so Now don't twist it if you don't have enough fabric because twisting it does use up tack. <laughs> okay. So let's see how that looks at the back. Do, 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 do. All right, so that is my. Oh, that actually looks cute. A little bit down. That's what I'm going to leave it a bit down. So that is my Alicia Keys look number two. Uh, later on after gaining a little bit of confidence, um, I moved on to my absolute favorite celebrity out there, and that is Beyonce. My goodness, as a younger girl, I was just absolutely taken back by the power and the feminine just royalty of this woman. Um, obviously our lives do not align at all, um, at all. And I'm not just talking about, you know, financial success or anything like that. I'm talking about ideals and all that sort of stuff. I've got no idea what she's like in real life, obviously. She's a complete stranger as far as um, the real Beyonce goes. But just even our, our lives, different countries, different religions, different lifestyles, different, just different. However, the one thing I always resonated with, she exudes this absolute value in herself um, and that is something that any woman any person deserves to have that just deep set belief in themselves that they are absolutely valuable absolutely worth it absolutely able um, and I just feel like that's something that we can find within ourselves no matter where we come from or who we are using a scarf so I've got my hair through the middle and two ends of the scarf so scarf hair scarf in a braid in a bun pinned down so I could do it this way, I'll just show you, and what I'd end up with is with this almighty, beautiful, 
decorative bit there. Just keep twisting, just keep twisting, just keep twisting. And then, oops, fall off my little pedestal here. I quite love this feature. This kind of gives that shape to the face, sort of the minimum amount of fabric we want to have here. Okay. okay, this is where we've got so far. We've got two long bunny ears and this triangle in the middle. So what I actually did was I laid the fabric down um, and folded it into as close to a square first and then into the triangle. So it's just going to sit right at the bottom there and just leave a little bit of fabric at the end there to work with. Not too much because it'll get too complicated if we go too hard with that one. So the first thing we're going to do is bring all the fabric inside the folds here until it's nice and flat on the top. And there's a lot of fabric to contend with. I'll show you the top. And just tie it off. That I just made to the knot. So I should be left with just this really lots and lots of fabric because I of the way I folded the scarf and one thinner bit. So even if you've got two equal bits now, the next step will be to sort of I'm only twisting this to make it neat. If you can just go for it straight away, you can do that, or you can add a bit of a twist, up to you. I'm just gonna add the twist as a bit of a design feature and then tuck away into the little loop there is here and tuck it away underneath here. Let's secure that well. So that's the look we have there. That's the top. Pretty happy with that. That's my Beyonce inspired tickle number three. Purple, vibrant um, turban majestic turban that she has on in this moody photo shoot. Now I don't have two of the exact same coloured um, scarves and I don't even know if she used two, she may just have used one really long one. But for me to recreate this look what I'm going to do is just cross over two equally folded scarves like that. And I already mentioned that I've got the scrunchie underneath with the volume and the turban on top just to hold it all together because we're going to be doing a really tall look. So I'm going to start with this in the middle. So what I'm going to recommend is we take the top two and tie them. And they'll hold the rest of the story in place. So I'm just trying to align it so that it's sitting further forward than the black. And let's start crisscrossing and bring them back around. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to climb in underneath all of those layers, just like that, my finger there, and take one of the tails and thread them up. Give it a bit of a twist. Yeah. With the remaining purple, I'm just going to twist it a little bit. It's going to create a design feature at the top there. Twist, 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 twist. And then that gets tucked away in this fold. Oh, the other. What do you think, ladies? Another lady that really, really speaks to my heart is another African American queen, Jada Pinkett Smith. The place that I really, really, really became a fan is when she launched her Red Table Talk series. So I was lucky enough to come across it and watch a few episodes on Facebook Watch and it just spoke to me. I love the connection she has with mum and the forgiveness she has in her heart and the style of parent she is. Mind you, I don't necessarily aspire to be like her or anything like that. Or, and, and on the other hand, I may do on some things. That's not the connection that I really felt. Again, it was just that ongoing theme of women and power and not the kind of power you get when you are a boss of a company or a president or something. No, she's the queen of her family and that is something so special. And really, really 
it is a lesson that we're taught many times over within Judaism that you know the the mum and the connection and the bond and I just loved that feminine energy that beauty and that real love that she teaches so first thing I want to do is recreate the crisscross look that she has just off center at the front so I'll just take the bottom so have a look here the bottom part here and cross it over and hide it away just back there and take the second same part bottom and cross it over the top some idea step one next I'm going to take them around the back ready Now this, that tie is sitting right at the base of my scrunchie and it's not going to go anywhere because there's that mass of hair, scrunchie, shaper, whatever you want to use. You can use any silk scarf. I'm just going to put it right on the top there and we're just going to twist one into the other. I might just leave these tassels out for a minute and then Tie that excess around, tucking it away. And then I'm going to tuck these tassels away somewhere. Let's see, maybe under here. There we go. And then with the other side, same thing. Who do you guys think? Um, Picasso um, scarf. I'll actually, show you the whole thing. So beautiful. Um, this is from my mummy's collection. <laughs> I wouldn't normally go for an orange. That's not really my colours, oranges and reds and golds. Um, but it looks really cool, and it's, I would say it's something that you know a Carmen Miranda costume would definitely feature. Not the Picasso, the colours. <laughs> so I've got this all going on underneath basically for the volumes. I've got my scrunchie again as always and this is just to keep it all together because this is a very sheer number. So I've got this triangle here. I'm going to make sure that I've got this tail down the front and that I won't lose it. I'm going to pull tight so I've got that hanging down here. I'm going to pull really tight because it's a very slippery scar and then just crisscross and just tying them off at the bottom of the bun. So not at the neck but just the bottom of that bun. I don't want it to slip and I just with this type of fabric I think it will unless I have this anchor to something I'm just going to pack away some of that because then this will get arranged nicely because all these oranges coming through so pretty and I'm just going to tuck away it's slippery tuck 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 so cool all right I've got this really tall looking turban and really cute sort of design feature and you can arrange it to feature whatever part of the picture or part of the design or colours that you like okay. once you've got it secured in there and I think that the last one I'd really love to share with you is a local hero an Australian hero a household name now how is she a hero because she did things that no one in her generation really expected she was an editor of a very well-known magazine. She started her own brand. She was a talk show host. She was one of the first women uh, in television to do one of those home decor, gardening, lifestyle type shows that we know as commonplace today. But it was such a rarity for Australian TV when she was the first one there doing it. Definitely a pioneer um, and definitely an inspiration. And she's in her 80s now um, and she's still so well known and so well celebrated and Everyone who speaks of her speaks of her in a very positive light. Um, and I only really knew her as a brand name. Um, and yet there was just so much more to know about her. So I la leave you with the last little snippet, with the last little look that I did for Maggie T. To wrap like Maggie, I've just put this on a little bit lower like she does and just crossed it over at the back there. I'm just going to take a very flat section of scarf and take it all the way over, letting it fold only slightly and letting it rest just a little bit higher and then taking it under and finding the pocket that we created and putting it away so you automatically get a little bit of height 
just from these beautiful folds. Now I've chosen a loud pattern on purpose because I feel like she would approve. Okay, once again, taking a flat section and going the other way. Again, trying to get a little bit higher and not overlapping too much. So where these little um, fallaways start to come out, the little tassels, I'm just going to start tucking away underneath. And if we come in from the back, you get beautiful height with this one. You can clean up only as much or as little as you like. Um, So you get this beautiful height. I've done a little bit of a twist because of the way I tucked it away. You don't have to. You can keep it going and tuck away at the back. Um, I just kind of like the design that you get with these dots when you do that. So yeah, look at that. Nike tea inspired scarf. I hope you enjoyed walking down memory lane with me over the last year of Tickle Tutorials. I thought I'd really concentrate on my Inspirational Women series because that really is where it all started. Um, best celebrating being a woman and being inspiring as well as inspired. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Ring the bell if you like getting notifications about new videos, but I'm pretty consistent on a midweek upload and also one at the end of the weekend. As always, I love seeing comments and posts and likes and shares and things like that over on Instagram or Facebook. So you can definitely find my socials down below um, to find me on there. Wherever you are around the world, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I think that by the time this goes up, it'll be Rosh Kodesh Adar. So for those of you who are observing, happy Rosh Kodesh Adar. I hope you have lots of happiness um, and lots of joy in this wonderful month. And thank you once again for being a part of this wonderful journey. I look forward to continuing it for many days to come and having you along all the way. Till next time. Bye.